right, so the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the new Roku stick that we're going to start rolling out to the stations. And this is it, the Roku stick, very small, very simple. Uh, we're going to talk about it, kind of get you guys familiarized with it and how to use it. Uh, the purpose of this is because, as you know, one of the greatest issues we've had uh, in the past and still have currently is trying to get training content to the TV in the day room so that everyone's not having to gather around a computer in the office, watch case reviews on their cell phone, watch YouTube videos or training content on laptops or iPads. Uh, again, so we can get an entire crew together in the day room and watch training sort of like we used to uh, many years ago with DVDs and, and VCRs. Uh, we've had an issue with that and we believe that this is the solution. We've been testing it down here for training for a while and it works well. We're going to start rolling this out to the stations. The first stations to get these are going to be the multi-company stations as well as station three. Uh, so those stations again will get a Roku stick and we're going to test them for a month or two. If they work as well as we hope they will, we'll begin probably in late summer after another month or two and we will start rolling them out to the rest of the stations. The limiting factor with these of course is going to be the quality of the internet. They do work over Wi-Fi. There are still maybe a couple of stations here and there that have uh, particularly iffy Wi-Fi or internet connections. If there are we will deal with that. We will test it and we will see how well it works. Uh, there may be stations where it doesn't work but we do feel that right now based on the capabilities at the majority of the stations that we will be able to roll this out to most stations and you'll be able to benefit from this. So again, the Roku stick, here it is, very small. What it does is it plugs into an empty HDMI port in the back of the TV. I think everybody by now probably has a TV or more than one in their station that has an HDMI port. So we'll plug this into an empty HDMI port in the back. It's powered by USB, so there's a small USB plug in the back that will either be powered, we can, if your TV is new enough and it has a USB or an empty USB port in the back, we can plug it into that to, to power it with. If it does not, there is a power supply that we can plug it into the wall and then we plug the other end of the USB cable into that. So it is powered by USB. You can see on the test TV right here on the side, just because of the way the HDMI plugs are on the side, that it actually sticks out a little bit on this one. And you can see the power cable and so that's what, what powers it. It comes with a remote. The remote is very simple to use. If you can use the, your cable remote or satellite remote, it works exactly the same. It's got a home button, a back button, some arrow buttons to select things with, and then of course your normal rewind, fast forward, pause, play. Pretty much basic stuff. If you can use a basic remote, you can use this. Really simple. So when you change your TV over to the HDMI port that's in use, this is the screen that you're going to see once your Roku's up and running, plugged in. So just select whatever HDMI port your Roku's plugged into, and these are the selections uh, you're going to have. So if right now we're on the home screen, and we have live stream, and we have YouTube. Those are the two channels that you will have available on Roku. Uh, we control down here at training what channels are available, so you can't add or take away channels unless you log in or have a pin. So we have set you up and everything when we deliver this out and we install it on your TV. The, everything is set up so it'll be ready to go other we just have to get it tied into the Wi-Fi once it's connected on the internet everything should be good to go so as you know live stream is is how we deliver live streaming content which as of right now is normally just case reviews in the in the future we will be expanding the content and adding more things that we live stream from from here at training uh, and also have the, our YouTube channel. All of the training videos, or most of the training videos that we produce, we do upload on YouTube, and so they're available there. So let's start off here at YouTube. Let's say we want to watch a training video, and uh, so let's start off with YouTube. Let's say we want to watch a training video, and this is the screen that it will start with. Uh, or it'll start with whatever screen that you left off with. But uh, what we want to do, if we don't have our Lubbock Fire Rescue channel up, is we're going to take our remote and we're going to use the left button and we're going to scroll all the way to the left until this red screen comes up. And then we're going to scroll down to subscriptions. Again, this is already set up to where you are subscribed to the Lubbock Fire Rescue YouTube channel. And once you go to subscriptions, there it is. Again, if uh, let's say we let's go back home. Let's say you turn on your Roku and all you've got here is epic cat fail videos. Well, you may want to watch epic cat fail videos, but uh, today we need to do some training. So again, 
We're going to scroll all the way to the left. We're going to subscriptions, select, and then here is the Lubbock Fire Rescue YouTube channel. And as you scroll through, you can see uh, a lot of the content that we have produced has all been uploaded. Some of these things you've seen on Facebook, some of them uh, you probably haven't. Some of them you've seen through links and emails or CE Solutions, but they're all here. This is where we link them all from in YouTube. So let's say you missed the Zika video or you want your crew, everyone to gather around and watch the Zika video. So we will go to the Zika video. We will select it on our remote. Uh, it will load briefly. And then you will see in full HD quality the Zika video. Again, the remote works just like DVR remote. If we want to pause it, we can pause the video. We press pause. If we want to play it again, we can hit play. Uh, we can fast forward. We can rewind. We've got the quick rewind button. So just like you would with uh, your DVR, fast forward, play pause, all the basic functions are there. So we can watch our video. If I want to go back, maybe I want to watch a different video. I can press the back button and again it takes me back to this screen. I can watch maybe the graduation, an old CSST training video, again all the contents here. So now let's say we are done watching YouTube videos so we press the home button. The home button always brings us back to this screen. Again our two choices live stream and YouTube. So now let's uh, maybe we want to watch live stream content. It's uh, case review day down at training and we need to tune in or we want to watch an old case review. So we'll go to the live stream app. Again, when we select the app, it takes a moment for the app to load, and you're going to see some choices. Now, the only drawback of the live stream app is it does not have the capability to bookmark channels or to save favorites, how, how, whatever term you want to use. So to find the Lubbock Fire Rescue live stream channel, we have to go down here to search. And there are two search options. So again, uh, we've got several screens. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you have event search and you have account search. And the only thing you need to remember here is we want to do account search. Event search is not going to work for you. You want to go to account search because we want to look for the Lubbock Fire Rescue live stream channel. So we're going to go to account search. Now normally you would have to uh, type Lubbock Fire Rescue in there. Well you don't have to do that. Again this is very simple because it saves your searches and we've already got it saved in there for you. So Lubbock Fire will be there. All we need to do is scroll again using our arrow buttons. We're going to scroll all the way to the right until you see Lubbock Fire is highlighted and then we are going to press select. Once you see our logo, that's our live stream channel and then you will see the content. Now although we've been using live stream for some time now, this live stream is a different version from the live stream that we have been streaming the case reviews in the past. So content in the past will be available on the old live stream channel. On the Roku, any content that we produce from here on forward, probably starting with the July case review. So July case review forward, all of the content will be saved on here so you can go back and watch previous case reviews, again starting from this month or next month. You'll be able to watch case reviews and, and both live and previous events or any other content that we create. Again, hopefully in the future we plan to start producing more live stream content that you'll be able to watch from the station. So right now the only thing that we have on here is some test footage, essentially just test footage where we live stream from the parking lot and watch cars drive by so that we can kind of see how this works. And right now again because this is the only thing on here we're just going to hit select so we have the test. And once we hit select we have a couple options here. We have more info which just tells you uh, this test B was live on Friday, May 6th, 1.30 p.m. and that is in fact when we live streamed it. So we're not too concerned with that. So we'll go back to the previous screen and we'll go to video. Now because this was recorded previously, you just see video. If this were live right now, an event say case review that we're going to watch, it would say live. And then of course we would click on the live button and go to watch it. But let's watch uh, the video, it's not live, of course, we previously recorded it. There we'll see the video test B. We'll hit select again, it will briefly load. And now we're playing the live stream footage from the parking lot, again, that we previously recorded. Now the nice thing about this is, let's say this is live, and we are watching case review or some kind of training content, 
Again, just like a, v, a DVR, we can pause it. Maybe we just got to run or we need to take a break for whatever reason. Something came up, a citizen came to the front door and we need to go uh, speak with them. And so we can pause the content. Again, we just press pause and it will sit there and it will be ready to go whenever you come back from your run or whatever other business that you had to attend to. We get back, we can hit play and it will play again. We can fast forward, rewind, again the quick rewind just like a DVR so it gives you a lot of options. So again, hit play. So let's say we're done watching this. We can go back button, back, and maybe we're done with the live stream all together. And then of course we just press our home button which brings us back. So again, we think this is uh, really simple. Again, live streaming YouTube, these are the only two channels that will be available to you. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure and let us know at training. Again, probably if you're watching this video, once you watch this video, there are some stations that will already have this. So again, we just wanted to familiarize uh, you with these Roku's so that when it comes to the station and you need to watch some training or live stream, you'll kind of have an idea of where you need to go and what you need to do. Uh, it is very simple. So again, uh, any questions, let us know at training and we do hope you enjoy uh, and find useful the new Roku stick.